Hello, my beautiful fellas. How are you? Thursday! Hasn't it been a long time since the last stream? <laughs> How was your week, guys? <laughs> oh, black chat. Yeah, the chat isn't working. That's weird. Hmm. Hmm. It's really weird, but the bit chart is working. Maybe they changed something about it. Hmm. Is it a green screen? Of course it is. <laughs> Why are you asking? <laughs> the green screen, in all honesty, it will come back. It will come back. I just need to, like, uh, probably next week, because, uh, like, obviously during work days, I don't find much time, but now during the weekend, I will continue with my apartment and, uh, then I should have space here again to uh, put up the green screen. Yeah, green screen Chan is taking a break. Yeah, exactly, Blue Saturn. It is the best time to do stuff you usually don't do. It's like the same, like, you know, the rare occasions where you don't have internet and you start, like, you know, playing some offline games, doing some... Like, I've, I've been reading again. I've been reading again. I mean... Uh, I'll show you what I'm currently reading. I'm almost done with it. Um, uh, it's in German. Uh, Stephen Hawking's. It's like it's not that great, to be honest. Like it looks like now, like I'm reading that super smart book, but it's not that good. Uh, it's short answers to big questions is the title. Well, I do have internet, but I'm just saying, like, I'm doing all these things I haven't done in a long time. I'm reading again. Reading is so 1975. <laughs> um, yeah, the book is like... Uh, it was uh, published after Stephen Hawking died, and it contains some stuff he had written, um, but never basically put together to a full book, so it's a little bit edited together to a book. Uh, I mean, the thing is most that is in that book I already knew because I do like in general, I like stuff about uh, metaphysics and uh, astronomy. So I do like, like I, I, I watch tons of documentations about it. I like, you know, and um, so most of that I already knew. And what I also don't like, it's actually the first book by Stephen Hawking I'm reading. I mean, uh, how do I say it without it coming? Like, he is really arrogant in some of these instances. I don't know. I guess he he's allowed to, right? I'm not saying, like, obviously, he's a, he's a very intelligent man that changed a lot about uh, our understanding in science, so I guess he's allowed to, to be very arrogant, but like, uh, it's how he points always out, like he points always out at multiple instances, how like he was even over like two corners actually involved with that revelation or how he would have won a Nobel prize if X happened. Like, I don't know, it, 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 there is a lot of like, there's a lot of like uh, crying for acknowledgement in there. If you fall into a black hole, will it evaporate before you get there? No, it will not evaporate. Like cur current theory on uh, how the... Oh, well, okay, yeah, it depends on the size of the black hole. So uh, currently like we can only <laughs> it depends actually on the size of the black hole if the if it's a super big black hole theoretically you will not be um you will not evaporate uh, getting to the black hole horizon but uh, the black hole that's closest that we're also watching would be too small you would evaporate before ever reaching the horizon of the black hole 
Yeah, definitely, Noriyuki. It's not a book that goes super much in depth. It's just a... So it is a good book. It's not bad. I just don't like the attitude around it. But I, I mean, he deserves it. It's not like I'm saying, like, you know, he does deserve it. Oh, if the... Uh, King Snake, if the black hole evaporates. No, the black hole will never evaporate. No. But the person... The thing is, when you're uh, getting close to the black hole and the gravity, it's uh, like it, it stretches you apart, right? So if the black hole is small, you will be split in two, ba like you will, ba you will be evaporated uh, before ever reaching the horizon. No, but the uh, black hole itself wouldn't evaporate. No, it will not evaporate just because you reach the horizon. Not by the current theory, King Snaker. No. The the black hole is like this heavy gravity. All the molecules inside are like, you know, it's like super compressed. But uh, just be if you were able to get to the singularity, it would not evaporate because of it. Not because of you. But I'm not sure what you mean. Oh yeah, eventually it will evaporate, yes. Oh, now I get your question. Oh my god, I butchered that joke so bad. I was... But what is time, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Time is related to gravity, so... But yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not really infinite. I mean, like the time, time is a very hard concept to grasp from our current understanding, right? Because time is... Um, a, time is related to gravity, and B, we assume that time, like before the Big Bang, time didn't exist, basically. And al alone that thought that like, you know, because people always ask, what was before the Big Bang? And that question is just wrong because there was no time before the Big Bang. And that alone, that thought is is so hard to grasp, right? And how so hard to understand because for us, time is so um, essential for everything we understand. Nice to turn, nice. It is infinite, no, it's not infinite. Like the gravity also isn't infinite inside the singularity. So the time isn't infinite either, King Snaker. I mean, yeah, the reason we can't see anything inside a black hole is because the gravity is so strong that no light uh, can get out. That is the reason we don't see anything inside the black hole. True, Noriyuki, it's also a question of philosophy. And religion plays a part too. Yeah, Kingsnaker, that is true. If you manage to get across without being evaporated from the gravity, because the black hole is big enough, yes, you will fall. But for the observer, they will always see you on the on the edge of the black hole. Yes. And that again is because the light doesn't travel out. Is that what you mean by the time is infinite? It's not really infinite. No, it's just the like the gravity also isn't infinite. It's very strong, but not infinite. I mean, it's strong enough so that light can't escape. <laughs> Well, all right, geez, before this turns into, into a science stream, <laughs> I'm going to start up the game. <laughs> I am sport. 
I love, I love, like, I'm, you know, I, it's not like I'm like, like my knowledge about all of it is very common because it's like fed by documentations and reading some books and that's it. Right. So it's not like I'm, I'm super informed. Um, oh, wow. Guess what Steam is recommending me? Ace Attorney. I was like the theory that our planet could be what an atom is for us, for something on another scale. I mean, that's pretty much it, yeah. And we also don't know, like we assume, okay, so based on our current knowledge, time is a concept within our universe, right? And before the Big Bang, there was no time. So we, like, we don't know if there are like other universes and <clears throat> with other times, with other concepts of time. Approach infinity, Kingsnaker. Approach. It is not infinite. It approaches infinity, infinity for our uh, for our understanding because even light can't get out. But I accept your argument. <laughs> I still win though. <laughs> it's not possible to know it though. Mm. Well. It is possible to know just on the basis that not an infinite amount of like there isn't an infinite amount of stuff in there, right? Materia. Materia? Mater how do you call it in English? I don't know. Like the black hole is created from a can be created from a star collapsing, right? So What's inside there is that collapsed star and everything it consumed and everything that consumes like obviously increases that gravity, but it's not infinite because there is a finite amount of stuff in there that creates gravity, so it can't be infinite. Yep. Yeah. It is indeed the character on the right side changes. I thought so because Mondo would have been weird. Materia, you playing 12 by 7? I don't know. In German, it's just called Materia. And Materia is basically just essential, the essential term for something. <laughs> Distortion can be infinite. What do you mean by that, though? Like, it's not really distortion what's happening in the black hole. It's just, you know... It's like, call it like it collapses, and like yeah, it's like a, it's like a, in German we say Teufelskreis. It's basically a loop. Uh, gravity is distortion. Hmm, I don't, like, I think we would have to discuss, like, why exactly you would define it as distortion and what exactly you understand under distortion. Hmm. Gravity isn't force. Okay, are we speaking physical terms or not? <laughs> I'm confused because... Uh, because gravity is a force. Yeah, of course, gravity is like time and gravity are related and it's relative so but 
It's still a force. Like, how do you define what is a distortion and what is a force? Because gravity still, like, follows rules. We can still calculate it based on the circumstances. We just don't always know the circumstances. All right. I am... Let's continue. Let's continue with the game. I'm. I'm really like. It's not like I want to kill this discussion. I think it's a very interesting conversation. Uh, it's a very interesting conversation. But I also wanna wanna go on with the game. We can maybe continue this uh, either on Discord or maybe I don't know after stream chat. Because we're gonna go long ways if we if we go down that route. <laughs> no, this is not like it's not a it's not not nothing like a heated debate or anything. I I do really like uh, discussing about it, and I'm as I said, like my knowledge is is just common knowledge from like some from documentations, reading articles, reading books. So, uh, like it's it's. I, I am aware that I'm also using, like on top of it, we're discussing in English, so I am aware I'm also using wrong terms. I'd rather see the game. So no, I think it is a very interesting topic. I, I wonder what Abe's reaction would be if I would do a, like, a, let's, let's discuss metaphysics stream before I would do a coding stream. <laughs> All right. How many chapters left? I think one more, like, okay, we're at the start of chapter five right now. And I think there are six chapters. Somebody said that before, but I, I, I would have rather not like to know. <laughs> yeah, apes. No, what I meant apes is was I wouldn't do a coding stream, but I would do maybe a metaphysics conversation stream. According to the game, we're halfway through. Yeah, I know, but somebody said it's six chapters and looking at how many people are left, I could see it being only two more chapters. And hey, Panda, nice to see here. Yeah, the, we're halfway through seemed weird because we have like six or seven people right now. With students 16, we have seven people left. And I mean, even if only two people die this chapter, right? Uh, I guess there could be one more chapter. Hmm. Oh, did it say final chapter? Really? Hmm. Could be a final very long chapter then. But yeah, we learned that the name of the 16th student is Mukuru Ikusaba, but we still don't know why the 16th student is not with us. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuru Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. I don't know about you guys. Ah, though. I was about to say... The chest looks really flat. However, the hands look very feminine. Oh, the fingers even had nail polish. I didn't even see that, but they looked very feminine. But the chest looked, the, the chest looked flat. They might have done this on purpose. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall. So let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. 
If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Is the pink plot some hint or is it just censorship? I am not sure if it's like... A, if it's aesthetics maybe even, Noriyuki? Because I don't know if, if that's supposed to be any censorship. I mean, it was rated, I think, for 16 year olds. Yeah, pink has been always... Blood has been always pink from the beginning. Maybe it's also just aesthetics, I don't know. Yeah. It looks a little bit like a style choice. Jeez, how is that horse of yours? Well? He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think anyway. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is, a bloated, is as bloated as a cow's udder. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this roll of them. Hey Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring now. Just sit. Th you sit. Just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. She didn't snap back at you. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. I don't care. And you okay with that, Toko? Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is the small talk Byakya warned us against. And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouth and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakya, we all started our exploration. Yeah, I mean, the game is macabre. I would say it is macabre, but it's not really dark. Like, the humor is dark, but it's not, like, it, because it's, like, that weird mix of, like, cheerfulness and darkness, right? I remember games in Europe used to censor blood to a uh, green color uh, a very long time ago, yeah. But, ha like, not anymore. Yeah, like, it, like, this game isn't exactly gory. It has still, like, some dark humor. Uh, alright. Uh, I'm gonna again check the stairs over here. Nope. In that case, let's just go straight to the fourth floor and see if the fifth floor opened. Right, sleepy. <laughs> uh. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason it feels unpleasant. Just looks like just like some classroom. Nighttime secrets no more. Oh, by the way, guys, I think I'm gonna go to the store again and spend some of my uh, thingies to get some new presents for the last free time we're spending. Ooh. Man, it's a shame Sakura isn't here anymore, huh? A dojo. <laughs> a dojo with Sakura trees! Oh my god. In full Sakura blossom. Jeez. Don't you have enough presents? I don't know, I feel like I have nothing good for... for... uh... Hina. Yes, I mean, rub it in, please. But, I mean, the game is doing it. What Kyoko told me yesterday, what the heck did it mean? Um, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything. Huh? 
I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze started, darted up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me whatever it was that was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So yeah, the Streamlabs stuff doesn't seem to work today. The bitcher seems to work, but the chat doesn't work. The alerts don't seem to work, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know, Sleepy. That wouldn't fit to what Kyoko said, right? Kyoko said even it's the it's the student of ultimate despair. Yeah, I'm sorry, apes. It seems broken. Let me actually check really quick. Um... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the bits. Uh, let me go onto Streamlabs really quick and see. Maybe I sometimes I have to. Um re-authenticate and that could be the issue uh, recent events okay let me try to re-roll it there we go i demand angelic monokuma voice acting wait that's from yesterday yeah, the new thing, yeah, Streamlabs seems to be broken currently. Like, this is from yesterday, and this is the last event it's showing, so... I guess Streamlabs is down currently. Yeah, it's not updating events, so... We'll have to wait until it's, until it's back working. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end, and just like usual, I didn't understand anything better than before. Also, by the way, a beautiful evening to you, Sleepy. I haven't greeted you at all. Have I even greeted at all at the start of stream? Well, a beautiful evening to all of you. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here and it's full bloom. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? That target seems pretty far away, gotta say. Pretty proud of my eyesight. Oh my god, I have over 300 coins. That would take forever. A suit of armor is in display. It's extremely Japanese. I think we're gonna find another photo. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? <laughs> Sleepy is the one. Oh, damn. At first, I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out they just painted the walls and the ceiling. Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why? Is that bad? Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, they'll put their plan for global human extinction in action. I'm serious. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. It seems safe. It's a chicken. It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure?
It doesn't have like a second form, right? It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. It's chicken. It's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? It's not gonna like lay a bomb, is it? Okay, do we get more? No, okay. Do you think these chickens play killing games too? Oh my god, that would be hilarious. Oh, you like chickens too, Mikoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Okay, seems like that's gonna be an important information. Maybe later on there won't be five anymore. Exactly? Five, you know, the number that comes after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. It's a number of power. A refreshing number and power with hand squeezed all natural lemonade. Never lets me get a word in edgewise. Just to be sure, I should take a look in that tool shed. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawn mower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools, and leaning against the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? There's a lawn mower here. Even with this here, who's actually gonna take care of the lawn? So many flower pots, big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There are so many different kinds to choose from. Oh, okay. Apparently I missed something. Oh, the pickaxe, okay. Huh, there's something carved in the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Hmm. I love how PlayStation keeps making mandatory system performance updates. They still do ab absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> You might not notice it, but it's probably still some fixes, also for games, etc. Oh yeah, Panda is absolutely, absolutely a special one. What is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! That's a monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like war and the plants all like snap and your flesh is all like blah, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student at Hope Speak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. Say it like you mean it greater than, less than. It works again! Thank you for the bit! Say it, but I totally meant it and said it, said it that way. Panda, you're absolutely special. Is that better, Panda? Is that how you imagine me say it when I mean it? Yeah, maybe it was actually, maybe I had actually to log in, I don't know. He just wanted me to say it. Like, like I mean it. That, that was what he wanted, chat. <laughs> the, the ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. By the way, despite how it looks, the flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. 
Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Not that I know anything about that myself. Spouting more and more nonsense. Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. Hmm. I mean, that's the camera. Oh, that thing, huh? There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the sprinklers! Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30, so don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, the settings panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? Yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinkles anyway. I do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm going to tell everyone! Oh, I confessed. Noriyuki is, me, says, like, I, I assumedly confessed to Panda. Can we talk about how upset I am? That still, you know, it still isn't that. Or I was, I was thinking, are you that upset about PlayStation updates and their fuck ups? Yeah, Hina. I want to have a pet like Monokuma. Hmm. Not sure how how long we would have fun with that raw. It's locked. We came all this way just to be in the night here. The sign in the hall says Biolab. A Biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into it. Kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Hmm. I guess we check the classrooms too, huh? Oh, damn. Okay, didn't expect this. And the blood is actually red. W what the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. Pyaki, <laughs> what did you do here? What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled. It was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. It smells awful, doesn't it? It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all you've been around, your fair share of corpses. Are you saying? It's the smell of death. They're flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right, I'd experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. But the smell here is strong, condensed, the smell of a battlefield. Monokuna must have... What? My fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me! I if you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yeah, but let me give you an itty bitty, eeky, sweetie little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. Was this maybe the tragedy? What? How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. That's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die a bloody gruesome death every day. That's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. Nuriyuki, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a beautiful rest. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all of this? There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. Mm, yeah, yeah, about what Manakuma just told us. It's like I'm not even here. I must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard or is he just flat out ignoring me? No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? Mm. 
Yeah, King Snaker posted that. I even told my mom because I recommended Uncharted before to her because she also liked Tomb Raider games. Only if you have PlayStation Plus though. I don't think I've seen everything there is to see. Okay. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And the color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. Okay, so red blood is actually old. No, Journey is very different from Uncharted. Journey is more like... A... Yeah, it's more like Greece. It's an exploration game, chill game. This is all really blood. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? Seems like he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. The only other thing left is the monitor. it was just about the blood, huh? I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now, but once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others t turned up. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall, and before too long, it would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Hey, don't be a surplus. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hack nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to kind of be Sakura's job, but... Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows just like everywhere else. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the 5th floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the 5th floor is the end? We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But that's the hardest part. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. <laughs> My concern is with the biolab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. The biolab, huh? I wonder what's in there. If this were like a cliche horror game, it would be some kind of creature, the final boss of Tyrant or... We're not in a horror game, though. Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. No, how I said it is right too. I wanna talk to her again because I wanna see uh, what she says afterwards. Ah, okay, that's all of it. Yeah, Makoto is hopeless, man. Like, hopeful, hopeless, hopeful? I don't know. He's very hopeful, too hopeful, a hopeless case when it comes to hope. Hey Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. So why are you telling me? Well, it cost Toro to zip it or whatever. Ah, I'd forgotten about that. Jeez, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on. Well, Toko, if you want to envelope us all in your pu putrid breath, I won't stop you. 
you, you honor me, master. And don't worry, I took care of the odor pro problem. Haha, <laughs> seriously, you're just gonna take it? Sh shut up! And don't interrupt when master and me are talking. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was this. A knife. Oh, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? How would I know? What are you gonna use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't wanna leave a knife just lying around. I'd rather have it lying around than in the hands of a serial killer. Then don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more important, now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? You can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I don't want it anyway, it's too dangerous. Hmm, so what to do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Me? Oh my god, we're gonna get framed with that knife. I don't want it. Hopelessly hopeful, yeah. I mean, if we have the knife and somebody's gonna be killed with a knife, we're gonna get framed. You are her, a little salt in the air and you're choppy choppy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, student sixing has to be, has to show up to be framed. Oh yeah, I totally trust Mikko to take care of it. Then that's that. Oh, hold on, don't I gotta say? It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. Okay, so here you go, Makoto. The acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Desk drawer? Oh, in the in the room, I guess. Anyway, that that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Uh, do, do I still have bad breath? So sorry. I'm I'm sorry if it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm, I'm sorry. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? Huh? Did, did Master just praise me? Hey, good for you. I'm dreaming. I, I must be dreaming. Uh, that I would ever experience such a dream. I feel strange. So strange, really strange. Oh. Whenever I look at Toku these days, it makes me feel sad. Can we get rid of them now? Yeah. Jeez. Toku and Tina, man. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm sure it is. <coughs> Dif I'm, sure I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? Of course not, because idi idiots never get wet. Uh, I think you're thinking of ducks. Was that a weird phrase? I don't know. I'm starting to worry about you, Hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dump. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, um, what was the question again? Don't worry, you just answered it. You know? I, uh, I never heard about anything with like getting wet either. There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? That's right, five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Oh my god, she's a monster. No, we finally get to have some cute birdie pets. 
Yeah, maybe. I also thought like it doesn't has to have to do like with like you're not wet because you stay a virgin. She's a monster. Look at her. Jeez. Oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? I'm pretty sure that kill you. And nobody said anything. You notice it too, huh? The pickaxe. What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words crazy diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Mm. Crazy diamond, hmm, yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. I don't just think, I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Where? Ah, that's it, I remember. It was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy diamond. You're absolutely right. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? But we didn't have access to the garden until today. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Onokuma confiscated it? Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed, the pickaxe connected to Mondo. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Then what did? What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. How are you gonna call he for help with a lawnmower? I don't know, maybe I can use it to make crop circles or something? Yeah, that's it, I'm gonna make crop circles. And we can use those to call for help. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? Well, back then I personally hadn't quite solidified yet. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed you now than I've ever been. Yeah, I don't remember Hero being that stupid before either. It's like he's getting dumber and dumber. I mean, maybe that was like a secret hint, like, I don't know. A failed, you know, we had that clone theory. Maybe his cloning failed a little bit. Wasn't that all of it? By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood, the white outlines and countless corpses, it was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. Yeah, that was what we were thinking too. I mean, don't get me wrong, that is a terrible incident, but what makes it the most awful event in human history? <laughs> that awful scene in that room, that was the tragedy that happened a year ago? I mean, tragedy is a, is a good term for it. Dumb and Dumber is a fun movie? Yeah, that's a classic. Precisely, the tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true, that would explain why Hostig was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still. How is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. So now, what do we do? Well... Starting today, you're all under my command, but before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. So, what is it you wanna figure out? Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well. Kyoko's identity, but Kyoko is Kyoko, right? Yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. 
Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, Hero's the ultimate clarion, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. Well, unlucky than lucky these days, but... So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Now that you mention it, she never told us. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like, this is a matter of trust. Can I trust someone who's unwilling to reveal the true identity? We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicions, so Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. What? Why won't you tell us? I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What do you mean? Oh, she doesn't remember! She doesn't remember! Oh, so... So, okay, if she doesn't remember, then the theory that she took part in this before actually becomes more and more valid, right? I mean, either this has already taken place before and she took part in that, or she was there when that tragedy happened a year ago. Hmm. I was just thinking if maybe she could be the ultimate student of despair, but I mean, she has a name and everything, so I guess she remembers some. I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory, you mean? And that's what she was asking with like, what have you done with my body that she doesn't remember. Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking, but if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. You can't be serious right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me, that's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter, either way the truth will make itself clear before we're done. So you have no intention of telling us, then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. What are you going to do, torture me? Nothing so barbaric as that. I will simply limit your options, I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. Limit my options? Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you her room key... She can't go to sleep in her room, she will be breaking a school regulation. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy, all she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on, a threat like that. Fine, I understand. Good, you're finally in the mood for conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and held out her room key to him. You damn fool! Why do you refuse to talk? Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. Maybe she really did lose her memory. If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. The worst school where only the worst things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. I mean, she knows that she doesn't remember, right, apes? I mean, that does make sense. Like, that, like, you do, like, she, she notices that she doesn't remember certain things. So she thinks something happened to her body. So, and that's why she got amnesia. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. The What's her deal? What? I mean, there's certainly more to it, apes. I mean, she also gave like another hint like of this maybe not being the worst school. Hmm. I think she might refer to what happened a year ago. I don't know. Over back to the parallel universe time travel theory. Only the second verse to write. <laughs> I think you went too far taking her room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but 
And what skill are you gonna do now? Plus the situation, it's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. I'm not different either. I still can't stop anyone. What the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, cause look! It's you, how long have you been standing there? I'm very, very angry! Angry at what? At the thief! Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst. What? My precious! They stole it! Your precious. Your te- I mean, King Zeka, you know how it is. Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. But what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? I guess Kyoko stole that and got the information that way. What if Hina kills Monokuma and then tries to frame us? I mean, if she was able to kill all of the Monokumas, then there wouldn't be a trial, I guess. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? It likely has something to do with Kyoko, huh? Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why should, would she do that? Motive time! Oh no. Night time. Uh, we need to get out of here. We can't talk about this more tomorrow and about Kyoko. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms, don't go wandering around. Not like we need you to tell us that. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Falling asleep, each of us went back to our rooms. It's funny how Byakuya turned into this cold justice warrior leader now. Ah, that's right. When are you going shopping? Or are you asking because you want to go AFK? I'm not sure I'm gonna do it, Apes. It's too many coins. And I know once I start, I want to do all of them, but that takes forever. Three hundred. Yeah, it's over three hundred coins, man. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. Yeah, see, they're mentioning the knife again. Jeez. I mean, if we have free time, maybe we do. We'll do some coins. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really gonna be okay? She can't get into her room. What she's gonna do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Uh -huh. hmm. As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? Kyoko. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Uh, wait, Kyoko? Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depth of the darkened hallway. And now we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right, but what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room, but wasn't it locked? The lock was broken. What? It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did... 
Remember what she said in her note. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right. So that so that we could uncover whatever secrets might, might lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. She asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct, I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Kick <laughs> Snake, you know the truth anyways. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. Dangerous? She may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't all the egos say that the headmaster is probably the mastermind? No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Makuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? I don't know yet, which is why. I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? Yeah, there are multiple Monokumas. Actually, it doesn't make sense that it's enough to just distract Monokuma. Let the man dream. <laughs> oh, and hey, Solheim, a beautiful evening to you. I'm sorry, King Snaker. If there's more than one person watching us, but they didn't catch one on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a, lu a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but... No matter what the reward, the risk is just too high, and I think that might happen if we fail. I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them, no matter what? In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now, there's no reason not to do it, right? But... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead. Enemies, the enemy is standing before us, and with that in view, she's the... She's the ultimate hope! Is she the ultimate hope? Is that what he's gonna say? She just smiled. Okay. I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. What's this? True. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. If something happens... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. 
Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it, just because you asked to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point, you can be sure of that. Yes, of course. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Well, there's that too. Yeah? You mean there's something else? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Okay, there's somebody she doesn't trust. Mm. <sighs> it's rare for me to like get a little hiccup. I can't just forget that easily. Okay then, shall we begin? I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. I'm going on ahead, the rest is up to you. Her court goodbye was no different from any other time, and like every other time she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it. Kyoko's gonna die. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety, and then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here. I've got a bone to pick with you. Why is he so... Why is he choosing such an aggressive approach? Just go to locked doors and rattle them a little bit. Then a few moments later... Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey, by the way. Huh? What were you and Kyoko up to, going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm, I bet you guys. Remove to confirm with local and international censorship laws. All over it, didn't you? Not gonna talk, eh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. I like you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Hey! Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from x rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fucked up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here now. What do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude feller. But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. Um, actually there is. Seriously? Th then what am I? Ma <laughs> Th that's enough. I will get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? Listen. I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're gonna ask something useful, like how to get the best honey or scene breeding tips? This is just crazy. Are all percent team boys as nutty as you? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and, uh, that's it. What was that second thing? It's a blank stupid ace! Stupid, a secret, fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out of here for that. I like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew, I hope I kept them distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine, it's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. That's it? Oh! Oh! A 
Are we just seeing this as part of Monokuma Theater, or...? Yeah! Her thighs, man. Thick. <laughs> French. <laughs> Stop it! I can't take compliments. Oh damn, what did it say? No! What did it say on the screen? Chat? What, 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 what did it say on the screen? Oh, okay, it was some sort of... Yeah. Part of the Monokuma Theater. It, a trailer. No boobs, jiggle animation, zero out of ten. You're right, there weren't any. Hmm. This is, but, but I mean, it's Sakura. She probably wears like that perfect sports bra that prevents any boob jiggle at all. I need to ask her, man. You were watching too? I was looking at chat. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. This is super stylish, super professional. This super stylish, super professional game was cancelled during development. That will start back up again if Dragon Rampers sells well. So you guys have to recommend it to your friends. It's so weird that sometimes like some lines in the middle are voiced. My body feels so heavy this morning. Must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Alright. Yeah, it's fine, apes. I, I assume it was just something like about it being a game trailer. Or like, maybe it was like that message of like, this not being for the public yet like you know kind of like a press tr release trailer oh it's sad that the game was cancelled okay you're one minute late Makoto how do you explain this S sorry I'm not feeling so great today you really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work are you all allowed to talk again I don't recall giving you permission huh uh, I just thought, I mean, since the day had passed, it had maybe reset. Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign from my neck that says, Bad girl, I clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. This is the game of Sims, isn't it? Like, Toko is a female simp, like, I mean, to a crazy degree. Nice, Prince. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. <laughs> you saw it, you thought I said Sims. I definitely murdered Byakuya if it was there, fuck him. I don't know. I I want Hina and Toko gone, to be honest. I mean, unless Toko gets out Genocide Jill. Like, I like Genocide Jill, I just don't like Toko. Can, can we just kill Toko and have a 100% genocide, Jill? Th thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. That's cruel, Sami, even for you. <laughs> oh. Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch. For a date, for your wedding, for anything. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not gonna show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Whatever he reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... Oh yeah, but still have a key, right? Ah, you're looking for Miss Kirigiri? Whoa, what do you want now? I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Hmm, well, it's hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. 
Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bull crap? I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way you change the subjects like that. Thank goodness, it looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night, which could mean... Yeah. Could she have been right about that? So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? We have no idea. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. For serious. Hmm, I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? It would seem that way. Where the heck could she have gone? Don't you think we should all go look for her? And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Yeah, how can he not know where she is? So strange. Kyoko must have used the key to sneak into some unknown part of the school, but somewhere even Monokuma would notice. Where could it be? Monokuma is so relatable. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, he kind of is. I mean, it's not its not wrong. Like, he has all these little cute... Uh, cute, I don't know, characteristics to himself that are relatable, actually. We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Free time, but I can't spend time with... Uh, Kyoko. Phew. Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to the shop. We're not gonna spend all 300 because that's, like, gonna take forever. I think we already had that. Ooh, lucky we got another one right away. Oh, the percentage stayed. Yeah, we already had that one too. I might as well, you know, let's put some more in at once. So far, nothing new. Oh wait, the chance goes down if I use more. Oh, that one's new. How does it work with the chance? Now I use one. The chance went up. But if I use more, the chance goes down. The more you, la you use, the less repeat you get, so... And repeat means I get a second one, right? Oh! Oh, I see. <laughs> repeat, oh! Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it now, what repeat means. I thought it related to that sometimes getting lucky and getting a second one. <coughs> Damn. Damn. And yeah, the repeat chance is basically uh, 
based on how many items we already got. Damn! I already have that one too. <laughs> oh my god, Prince, that one sucks. Oh, that one was new. Yeah, that one does suck. That one's not. It's the warrior charm we gave to Sakura. Ooh, that one's new. It looks so cute. I mean, many games have like at least like one super time wasting achievement. That one isn't. Oh, that one is, but it looks just like a stone. Cup noodles. I wonder who the cup noodles would be for. I mean, he now likes food, but I'm not sure she likes any kind of food or more scissors. Oh my god, that radio looks super cute. Some enemies drop card packs you can open and there is four SSR cards you have to get, but the chance to get them is like 2%. Reload cheating! But yeah, I would do it the same way. More scissors. It still takes long, even though we're going with 10 at a time. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, are these hands part of the sculpture? weapons in here. It is an interesting bust, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, another rock. Very nice. happy about water. I mean, they have water and normal food here, so I don't know. Same with the cup noodles. They have all the food here. More rocks, yeah. I still haven't seen something where I'm like, this is definitely for Hina. Oh, that one's new too, whatever that is. Mm. 
Yeah, donuts for Hina. Only thing for Hina is an X. Oh, wait, that could be something for Hina that looked like cookies or something. I mean, she likes sweets, that much we know. Wash? Like, was that a tap to, to like, wash yourself inside? All right, we done. Let's search for Hina. It's one of those taps you fill and pour over your shoulder in the bath, yeah. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to save. <laughs> Anime knowledge, Prince. Anime knowledge. Didn't I see her in here? Oh yeah, there we go. Even if it's hard, you have to endure, endure, endure. That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Vanjiro. But every person's endurance has a limit. I think we need a change of pace. And when I think change of pace, I can only think 50 laps in the pool. I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Alright, let's see chat. I already gave her that. I know she likes it. I wonder also if you can give the same present multiple times and it still has the same effect. What the fuck is that? It's probably for Hero because, you know, plants. Try it for science, but I don't have, like, if I had the um, swimsuit again, I would give her that, but I don't have that anymore. You know, I didn't get the water lover again, unfortunately. Oh, that's nice, friend. That is nice. If you want to share it, I would be super interested. You could even share it on the Discord. A hand bra. Oh, it's a, it's a bra. It's not even a bust. A bra designed to slip over your hands. Its slogan, raise your hands, raise your spirits. Wait, a bra designed to slip over your hands? What? No, I don't have donuts anymore. Or did I get new donuts? Uh, no, zero. But I just saw the other new pre present we got. Where was it? Wait. That, there, royal curry. Oh, I don't know if curry is something for her. Hmm. Figuring out the popular TV person who hosted Lost and Forbidden Love Fantasy Outer Space. Self-destructing cassette? Huh. Pretty hungry caterpillar. A caterpillar toy that was all the rage years ago. As you pull it, it moves up and down, making it look alive. I mean, you don't have to. I can also wait until it's finished, Brand. However you like. Uh, 
Oh wow, apes. Uh, a radio with a retro exterior, but state-of-the-art technology inside. Of course, there's no reception in the school. You can't hear anything anyway. Prince Shotoku's globe. Secret of the Omoplata. A little known book about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that teaches high level shoulder block techniques. Omoplata is another word for the. That could actually be something for her. That could have been also just for um, Sakura. What was that again? Major game. Sacred tree sprig. Hmm. A porous rock formed within a volcano. Many people use these to exfoliate and remove dead skin from the body. Oh, that could be for her actually. You know, some some beauty on her body. But I don't know, it's also kind of insulting. <laughs> Wait, if these are edible. But I don't know, I don't like the description of like it covering up taste of bitter medicine. Oh. Immense fantasy. Oh wait. Wait, what's Alter Lump? Oh that's I can give these too. I guess it's for the people that care most about it. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it was alter ego. I thought maybe we got something from Sakura, but we don't. Uh, hmm. This is rough, man. Hina is a is a tough cookie. Try the rock? Okay, I will try the rock. <laughs> Thanks, I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? I think it's better than what we last gave her. Uh, so hungry. Makoto, help me. I'm hungry. What am I supposed to do? I need food. Anything. I don't care if it's a stack of paper. Need food. Okay, I guess, I guess we should gift her more food. He now suddenly got death. I mean, no, she doesn't. I still hope she disappears, but I still hope she will give me, her, me a new skill before she disappears. Now, the stack of papers was for Byakuya. Byakuya was very happy with that present when we gave it to him. Why did you just eat some more donuts? I can't! That's my secret weapon, for emergencies only. If I kept gorging on them with that many calories, I'd get fat in no time. So even she cares about that kind of thing, while well, she is an athlete. Besides, I don't want anything sugary right now. I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Like ramen. No, she does like cup noodles. No. Damn. How's that a snack? How's it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you without a doubt. Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and also. I'm a protestic tonkatsu girl through and through. Oh, you don't care about calories at all. The key element of any tonkatsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. So you okay with all the oil? Uh, talking about just made me even hungrier. Maybe it's time, maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. Who says stuff like that? Are you real man or aren't you? What are you, what? Are you afraid? Afraid of ramen? You pathetic Makoto, I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still Hina? Shut up! Get out of my way! I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like! Are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the first based consequences? 
No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Then don't. If I don't do this now, when am I ever going to get another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off at a dangerous clip toward the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. Yeah, there we go. You got her skill. I learned my lesson and made my way back to my room. I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Alright, so we got her skill. Um... Pyakuya. Hero. We can't spend time with Kyoko since she's gone. Toko. Shall we do Toko again? Apes, you wanted Toko last time, I remember. So chat. Byakuya, Toko, Hero. Yes, Toko? Alright, Toko it is. Hina? Nah, we're done with Hina. <laughs> I hate them all. <laughs> You're not wrong. I don't have actually strong emotions about the choice either. M Makoto, are you l leering at me? What are you thinking? What are you planning to do to me? I was perfectly happy spending time by myself. But I guess if you're so desperate for attention, I can hang out for a little bit. I spent some time with a cold and distant Toko. We gave her that um, pen, which she really liked. I guess it's time for some scissors, right? But I wonder if she really likes them, because maybe she's offended because the scissors are a thing of Jill, right? Where are the... There. We'll try it anyways. Oh no! Okay, no, this one was a bad one. This one was a bad one. I wanted to know if scissors are good or not. I'm moving like 20 FPS, Twitch app just lost it. Uh, to be honest, there might have been a little bit of a... You know... Fluctuation going on. Why don't you just give me a letter filled with razor blades while you add it? Totally unwelcome. Uh oh, I don't think she was too happy with that. I wonder if you can spend time with with genocide Jill and give her that then. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid the banned words, Kingsnaker. I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. Can't help but I need sleep. As I dropped into my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. Uh, the abilities, Prince. Uh, Hina last time didn't give us anything because we hadn't raised the relationship well enough with presents. Maybe give her the perfume so she sneezes. <laughs> I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say. I was restless. Mm. Some point I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under understand. That voice. It's so familiar. It's your own fucking voice. Ah, it's understand. It's me. I understand. 
And those are abilities for the trials, Prince. Before trial, we can choose abilities to use. <clears throat> Huh? What am I trying to say? This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. <clears throat> My dream just now. Oh, that's the person we saw dead. <clears throat> oh! Oh. What if Makoto himself thinks he killed that person because they were there with a knife? Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. Yeah, yeah, it, it could be another waifu, Sleepy. I mean, right now it seems like that 16th student is the person with the mask, right? But then that would be kind of too obvious and also very sad for that person to be dead instantly. So probably not. I don't know. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up to the, the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethar lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto my fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depth of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice, I didn't really understand, and then... <clears throat> All of a sudden I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember... <clears throat> Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Well, we can check if the knife's still there. I opened the desk drawer and... Huh, it's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange, because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toka in here. Wait, that means... <coughs> the knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it, I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all, but if that's true, this all makes even less sense. I would someone have wanted to attack me. And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko? What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall, then I can talk to everyone else about it. 
Oh, on F2 I can... Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh wait, yeah, right. Yeah, on your own. <laughs> yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Hey, Hina. Um, you really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean, yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know? I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would wanna, you know? So anyway, what, what, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. Why did you come to get me? Did something happen? Um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else, then they can tell you all about it. So is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. I was in the gym. Hurry up. I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Hmm. Which? Oh! Thank you. The screen of the video game. See, I was totally distracted. You can't even see it. Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. If enough people buy Danger Rapper, who knows? Oh, okay. Tell your friends. Huh. Sounds like a sex party. <laughs> Ah, there he is! This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, your own funeral all at once. Jeez, to show up now, like it's no big deal. You made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko, and then I noticed they had formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was... What the...? Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. Just the face. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Well, I guess I handled this. I explained what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. The Akia found this little fella laying around, then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal, however. When I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all. Okay, so that makes actually the 16th student being the mastermind more likely. Because the 16th student is now here as a person and not controlling Monokuma anymore. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't take a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. It was master stroke of genius, a chance to find out what made would come and tick. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It sleeks beyond any normal remote control by. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart, so if he didn't break down, then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master they ran away in terror. Or maybe they got sick or something. 
Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a time and place as necessary. That's true, he says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for legit conversation. I just found something. What is it? It's... It's what? A bomb. There's one installed on every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. A bomb! That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movement is sure to go off. Motion sensor? For serious? Oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. You're so not fine. You're all ah ah ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned. The motion sensor is off right now. Ha ha ha, jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless war of the century. Come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging onto it's not gonna do anyone any good. Oh yeah, good call. Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Here I put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been when I thought about it? I couldn't help but think back to the night before, being attacked by that masked figure. Hey, I'm Makoto! Huh? Hey. Don't hurt us, did you hear the thing we just said? Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's a no. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? And we've decided to continue our offensive assault. To try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Really? Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the mastermind comes back while we're in there... If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Oh, go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. It can be chicken number six. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Yeah, Hina gets even worse, right? With her, like, real man talk. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right, I'll go with you. Okay then, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment, anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, master, to all the ends of the earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. I can do this, I'm a man and I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. I think Makoto should have told them by now that he was visited by that masked figure. It's locked, I suspect it. So what are you gonna do? Isn't obvious we're going to tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but the rules say... We've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we're in there, then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Okay, sure, but... We've come this far, we can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. So beautiful, sticky! Serious? We don't have any choice, we're desperate. Let's do it, let's strip this door down. Actually. And I, I... I'm not even sure if... What did we play last? I think I didn't add like the... Like a grease already on there and stuff? I'm not sure I added those. Well, it's, but it's not... Okay, yeah, like, it's just that weak missing, basically, though, apes. Like, um, it is pretty up-to-date, like, three games missing. Yeah, these three are missing, but besides that, it's, it's pretty, um... 
it's pretty up to date. But yeah, Panda, you missed a few. It also only states the game I played in English, not the ones I played in German. Like Deponia, for example, I streamed in German. It's not on there. Okay, but how are we gonna do that? This, thing's, this thing looks pretty sturdy. Now we need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. Interesting, that could very well be exactly what we need. Now then, Togo, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable. I... but by myself? Surely you like to have your... to have your me time once in a while, right? But if it's me and you, Time Master, then yeah. You know how much time it took you to say that? 10 seconds. Take too long and I'll rise your existence from my consciousness. Unacceptable! With that, Toku ran off loud as a herd of rabbit elephants. For serious though, are we just gonna knock this door down? No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. <laughs> oh, that sounds that sounds so awesome, actually, said to one. <laughs> Oh, you imagined that great helicopter and it turned out like a Chevy bus. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's kind of cute. But yeah, congrats on finishing it. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense, I can hardly talk. I'm all flubbest, no. I'm totally flub... flub... flub stuff. Fab sauce? Gross, where'd that come from? Wait, genocide, Jill? Where you, you, where'd you come from? Hello, hello, it's the Vondiferous Murderous Fiend. Here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an X? No, you seeping imbecile, the pickaxe. Seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me with your ex executive level barbs. Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. This is a level of usefulness I find difficult to tolerate. Yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. Alright, we've solved the mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery? Yeah, now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. What are you talking about? Do you already forget what we're talking about? You're like missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? Corpus! Did you hear me? I said corpse! A corpse? That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden. Well then, before we enter that master's room, it appears you have something else to look into. We're going to the garden. Okay. Yeah, just send someone else, right? As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... You're right, on this picture it looks like nail polish, apes. Most mortal danger can be avoided by pushing a fat person in front of you. Is that like an argument of like how sad we are now that Hifumi isn't here? And a beautiful evening to you. Oh. Uh. You thought it was no, we already knew actually it was this because at the start of the chapter he said three days later the next murder Right? There he is. It could be Kyoko. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, like it could still be Kyoko, but... We knew this would be the picture we would see. 
I saw someone lying on the ground with a mask covering the face, and there was a knife. So, okay, here's the thing. Makoto is gonna assume it's not Kyoko because he saw the person with the mask, but maybe the person with the mask put their mask on Kyoko, right? So it could be very well Kyoko. I mean, Tree Hanger, we already know that's not true when you say it because you know it and you wouldn't spoil. And there was a knife buried in the stomach up to the little hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? <laughs> oh, the person isn't really dead? That was the Hifumi case. Oh, you were, re yeah, you were referring to that. But Sakura too. Sakura wasn't really dead at the beginning when she got attacked. Just to make things clear. Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but now they're lying dead in front of me. I told you there is a corpse hanging out here! Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? You need to begin looking around right away, however. Be ever so careful, there's no telling what you might find. Why are we not pulling the mask off? We need to find out who this actually is, but there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that, and the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. Then just rip it off. The shoes! It is Kyoko. Look at the shoes. Yeah. The victim is a total mystery, but one thing I do know... Makoto, seriously? The body is a total mystery? Just take off that mask! What's wrong with you? Yeah, I, I also think the person that attacked him here is not the person lying dead there. It's Kyoko lying dead there and the mask was put in them. And this is student number 16, aka the mastermind. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a girl judging by the nails. We noticed that actually early on. Apes even noticed the nail polish the first time we saw that picture. But why... How did they wind up dead in here? Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. How did you confirm the breathing part without taking off the mask? Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, the clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful, you don't touch it against someone you. Um. How could you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Why is nobody ripping that mask off? This hurts! <sighs> How can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really, then it could be. Okay, then. Let's just tear the mask clean off. There we go. Wait, don't... But by the time he calls, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out toward the mask, and in the next instant... There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up, it blew up, it blew up, it blew up, it blew up. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. Hey, Akisab, nice to hear. But then... Hurry up, put out the fire. As my conscience attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay, the upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Thankfully, there was enough to put out the fire. It, it died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I 
I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded? What did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body. It's burned to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we gonna find out who it was? Who isn't here right now, huh? If we consider who's not here, they'll quickly narrow down who it must be. There's only one person missing. It's Kyoko. Kyoko? Then that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. But I mean, who else? There is one other person. <coughs> the mastermind. What? The mastermind? Come on, there's no way the mastermind got charbroiled. Get serious. I agree, normally that idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Munukuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the file, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. Yeah, the booties didn't burn at all, so we could still figure out that it's Kyoko's boots. Uh... Ah, oh, that name again, and my chat is again too small. Wait, give me, give me, give me a second here. Uh, Patata. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce it. A beautiful day to you. Do you know the story of Boom the Body? I mean, now I know it, yes. Yes, yes. He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. And could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Makuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What are you talking about? The other day Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I do know verde, right? For, like in, um, in Italian, it means green too. And potato, obviously. So I'm gonna tell you green potato from now on. It's a cute name. I obviously have a, I have a thing for, for names with food in it. It's not like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. There's another student here and it's a female that would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds so super mastermind doesn't it? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro, and she's a student here and she's the ultimate despair? But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot? How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? None of this makes any sense. To just suddenly show up and then die? I think we'd better take a closer, closer look at the body. There might be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. I don't know, I think, I, I feel like it makes no sense for them to investigate the body right now. It makes more sense for them to try to escape. Like, why, like, in reality, they would be like, yeah, this is all very sad, but we should focus on escaping. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. <gasps> Ultimate waifu, yeah. Hey, wait. What? Yeah, the shoes are still Kyoko's. What? Um... Aren't we forgetting something, you know? Oh, Toko! Toko got blown away. Oh, yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Forget about her, I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Eh. A 
Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. What? What just happened, Master? You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide that you exhale. That's enough for me to live. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. <clears throat> right now I have to focus on the body. Okay, okay. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Watch yourself, Makun. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. D don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko after all. But where can they escape? I mean, they can't... But they were... They were about to break into the headmaster's room and like it would have totally made more sense to pursue that. Break into the headmaster's room, maybe break into the data center, right? That's the th stuff they should have should have continued, kept pursuing instead of now going ch ch checking the dead body. Like they had a plan, they had a chance right now. <coughs> Lucifer Uvu! Welcome to the stream. Who died? Uh, we're not certain yet. This might be either the 16th student or Kyoko. I do think the boots look like Kyoko. The nails don't look like Kyoko at all, though. Is that good or bad, Prince? <clears throat> There's something next to the body. It's, it's a key. <clears throat> Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? No, that key looked different. It's not good. The nails look like Junko. You're right, they do look like Junko. Please uh, please keep in mind, I'm playing the game for the first time, so please, no spoilerinos or anything. If you know the game, if you don't know the game, it's fine to like make wild guesses too, but if you know the game, you will have to abstain. <clears throat> That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is. Looks like the key to the data center. What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task, huh? That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean the bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm room on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. Okay, so we are going to check out these rooms now. Well, at least something makes sense. Okay, um... I guess we, since we're on this floor, we check out the lab first. Yeah, Junko is already dead. That's why she wore gloves to hide her terrible fashion sense. <laughs> oh, you're right! Kyoko was wearing gloves, we can't say for sure. But how would you be even wearing gloves with these long nails? Well... Like, and theoretically we're six people, but one isn't here, right? Either Kyoko is dead or the 16th student is dead, but one of them is probably still alive, but just not with us. Yeah, the biolab was r definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I'd found in the garden into the keyhole. The key isn't even close to fitting, which means the key doesn't go to this room. Okay, That's th I, I think this is the data center key, right? Can we just teleport there? I hope it's not Kyoko. I like Kyoko. You think it's Kyoko faking her death? Hmm, but why would she fake her death? She was in hiding successfully. And in fact, Monokuma is not around right now. 
But yeah, it would also be weird for the 16th student, aka the mastermind, just to be dead. The door to the data center was definitely locked before. Let's give it a shot. When I went to enter the key, I found in the garden to the keyhole. It fits. Yeah, it doesn't seem to make sense to fake the death right now. I, I know some girls that like to do it. They really enjoy just making their nails and putting them in different colors with different patterns, stuff like that. I, I don't li really do it because I think it's inconvenient. <laughs> I like just having short nails, it's more convenient. I mean, there hasn't been an announcement because right now we're not being observed and controlled. I don't think that one happens automatized, even though it's recorded. I guess all that running around paid off. Oh really, Prince? Damn. Immediately headed back to the garden. No, go in and check! So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we can get into the data center now? Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? I suppose we just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Hey, so when you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? You asking that question now? Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? It's in your hands. Again? It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie, I'm just being used. I think it's because Mugua spends his free time trolling the internet. Yeah, there's definitely, like, it would be weird for the mastermind just to be dead. We also not, don't know for sure yet if mastermind and the 16th student are one person, but they could be. It would be weird for just for them to be just dead. But, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out, chat. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. In a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? Hey, that's... You're extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classroom, every part of the school was covered. Th this is... It's the direct read from every single surveillance camera. Doesn't that mean they would be able to see how the person died there in the garden? <laughs> King Snaker. <laughs> it's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on these monitors. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. To watch us? Then this room is... The Masterman's private room without a doubt. Mastermind's room, I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here. Watching us. And then I think this settles it, huh? The body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. That was the body of Mukuru Ikusaba and she was the mastermind. Okay, that's definitely not true. It's never the first conclusion. Chat. Anime logic. Then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? It would seem so. For serious? It's too bad they had to go and die before master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body... 
Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. Also, the planted bomb is weird, right? Like, if the mastermind would be lying dead there, why would Kyoko plant a bomb on it? So who was it that? But if the mastermind really is dead, that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and find the exit, come on. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? But what about the exit? If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? So you th th think so too, huh? Naturally. The state of the corpse makes it plain stay, there's absolutely no doubt. No, we haven't entered through the Monokuma door yet. Maybe it's like those games where when it was a dice it just explodes. Mm-hmm, Prince. The danger bus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the danger school bus? The mastermind was murdered. Why has it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? That's exactly what I, why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. Now, do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from talking to Master ever again. The Mastermind's purpose and why they were killed, the Sur may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the Master must have spent who knows how much time here. Okay, then let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the Mastermind. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs, nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Okay, so they can't just use them. So what, we can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in? What century are you from? The master must have been using these to monitor the network and alter ego. You may well be right about that, but there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. Wait, there... Wait... Why is there a camera in the data center? That means... Yeah, that means that whoever was sitting here... I mean, we also saw Munokuma in here, but yeah, whoever was sitting in here was watched too, right? We did see in a cutscene Munokuma sitting here, but if we assume also the 16th student sitting here, the 16th student is part of the game as the mastermind, but is also being watched. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? Hmm. It doesn't say anything about it, but I do think it's weird that... Like, it kind of proves that whoever was in control here was actually part of this too, as, uh, as being controlled and watched. <laughs> if they're Windows PCs, I'm sure you can easily get in. In this in case. Nope, no good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. They're like watching themselves. Hmm. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. Can't stop thinking about the door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. It's the next guy, but I also really wanna get out of here. What's your problem? <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> right. Hurry up and find up on this one. Huh, hey look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? It is! It's just like the one my grandma used. It's totally one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Hey, did someone say TV? Well, well, Saturday morning Heener's here. Are you talking about me? Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on. I think this is the moment of truth, chat. You know, I'm still, I'm still having these these either parallel universe or time travel theories. And I think it's time for me to decide those stories. They are in the future, maybe. The master could record in advance and like, act like one of the survivors. True. True, Triager, true. 
Absolute unbiased, right? Uh, no time to- <laughs> Scared somebody's gonna spoil? That's really cute of you, thank you. Ah, you all stuff for, for info from the outside world, huh? Alright, let me work my magic and I'll be quantum leaving your way to v TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? Well, then do it! Okay. Hey, you still don't have the TV fixed? No. Just give me some time, okay? I gotta make sure we can drive Spaceship Earth safely. I think I know what you're trying to say, but I also think I have no idea. Okay... So what do we do in the meantime, here? Yeah? Oh, the world monitor, I guess. There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the master has been using them all to spy on us. Holy membership! You know? mm. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! What's wrong? Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think an idiot mastermind. All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it? Yeah. At least they're gonna notice now how weird it is that there is a cam on, over their heads. Oh, wow! Thank you, Apes! Thank you. Thank you for the command. It's the feet coming from the surveillance car monitoring this room, isn't it? That's weird. Come on. It does work, not for abuse though. If people abuse it, we would have we would have to start making it a mod only command, but yeah. Super weird. Yeah, we had that theory too, like that it's like Truman Show, right, Panda? Uh, very early on we were like, is this like Truman Show? But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how's it showing the camera feed? No. Did you try changing the channel? Oh, good idea, let's give that a try. You went through each channel one by one. But on every channel it was just us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. Is it broken or something? Oh, I'm gonna laugh now. And that's that. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past, so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all, I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? Ew, I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. Point. You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. But what does that mean? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. You're so stupid, don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? This? Killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world, the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, if I, if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand. I heard it kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind, like a boat tossing in the ocean. My mind had begun to creak and groan. Everything has a meaning. He wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. What if they already did? Huh? But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at the TV. Finally, we could get out of here. And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Well, that's part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that... How did I manage to pick a rank character who makes it to the last day? No, this isn't the last day, Apes. This is chapter 5 and I think there are 6 chapters, so this isn't the last day. Alrighty, Panda, have a beautiful night. Thank you so much for watching. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened over all that. 
I need to go back to the scene of the crime, back to the garden. <clears throat> okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that might be important from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. <coughs> These look like fragments of something. They're all burned, so I can't really be sure, but I feel like I've seen something like it before. But where? Wait, what was it tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but it looks like it's a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. The upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. That's because it got set on fire and it threw water on it. Since I only threw water on the part that was on fire, the top... Laying over there on the table and waiting. Patiently waiting. The fragments lying around the body. Probably will go into that. It could be related to the case. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime, but the underside is totally clean and completely dry. One side of the tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. That's the one thing in here that concerns me on the problem at hand. <coughs> It was the third chicken. <laughs> kill a human is fine, but kill a chicken. Well, the chicken was completely... Uh, what's the word again? Innocent. God damn it, that was hard. The chicken was completely innocent. Maybe related to the case. Yeah, maybe the chicken isn't even dead. Who knows? This is the. P Listen, Makoto, do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Mm, if I remember right. It was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was an ore. Where's that from? Art room? Maybe. Is it from. Oh, is it. Oh, of course, it was the bomb. The Monokuma bomb. Monokuma is laying this mantle on the floor, but I thought about that. The fragments I found in the garden. That means somebody here took the bomb. Cool, that might help us understand Kyoko. You can't be serious. That's why you make me take time out of my search to come here? Sorry. Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more cons have something more concrete, something to give us some sort of direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know. <coughs> Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. It's true. true, I forgot about the ladder. It looks like a six, but we'll see. I'm sure I have it somewhere. Found it. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Well, something has certainly happened, so open it. Okay. I will. She showed an interest in the military from childhood. Before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. I mean, Kuro could also, could just be Kyoko, if Kyoko actually forgot her name too. Just before entering middle school... The ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. This doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in is like a completely different dimension. It's like they have their uses and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. <coughs> This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says that Fenrir has already... Well, I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player and a bit player is becoming our hero. That's you. Hmm. What have you got in your pretty little hand there? Ah! 
Oh, you found her profile? What if he did? Don't freak out! She reacted negatively when it was about her parents. True, Sakura could have been, but like... the, You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in, day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone... The, the 16th student just being the mastermind and that's it, but yeah. You still think the core from the dead body's hands? I mean, they looked roughed up, definitely, but that could have also been the dirt from the explosions. It's not 100% clear. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars. Wait, it's on the back of her hand. The tattoo. Wait, but no, Monokuma specifically, they were scars. Yeah, okay. And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide the scars, which means... Those fake nails on the corpse... Yeah, the, the nails were what's off-putting me the most, too. Like, here's what I'm thinking. I'm still thinking uh, the profile is Kyoko's profile. She is the ultimate soul trap. It's trap. God must have really hated you to make you so dull. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16... He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proves that Makura is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. So yeah, because we could vote on... We could vote on that 16th student to be the killer, I guess. Kyoko? Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. But based on what Monokuma just told us, would raise questions about her would be told, bold, to say the least. It makes more sense, then, to assume that Makuro isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want us to suspect Makuro and come to the wrong conclusion. That's what makes sense to me. The way you say it definitely does seem possible, but if that's really true, if we're connected. Well, are you coming? No, there were 16 chairs. In fact, yeah, in fact, the very first trial, I think Yoko was the one to point it out that there was a 16th chair. Yeah, yeah, there was an empty chair. Like, the very first day, uh, Kyoko pointed that out. What do you mean, Kingsnaker? Am I wrong? I'm, I remember it being pointed out that there was like one more chair in the trials room. There are wooden lockers here. They use wood lock keys, just like at those super traditional public bathhouses. It looks like the key we found in Kyoko's room really does go to one of these lockers. Okay, yeah, maybe that too, but I also remember, I mean, that would be a fact like that you could easily overlook because uh, it doesn't matter how many students were invited to the school if you end up in a crazy killing game, right? One might not have come. So that premise isn't it. I think it was Kyoko who instantly turned to Monokuma and said, there are 16 chairs here, and Monokuma like dodged the entire 16 students were invited to the school. That doesn't really like tell you there must be 16 students. No, that's not it, Apes. No, that's not what I mean. But like, you know, uh, I mean, Makoto like at the start of the game tells you about the school, about... They look like they're made of titanium. Oh, it's Byakuya. I was about to say, Makoto, how do you know that? They look like they're made of titanium. Uh, I don't know, I feel like... When... During the... Um, Genocide Jill case... Maybe then... When we first read through the files here, maybe then it was already mentioned once. I don't know, I feel like it was mentioned before during the game already. 
Some, however, believe there was mounting internal tension within the group and they simply imploded. <gasps> oh! But no. The tragedy a year ago. What if Fenrir were all students from the school and they imploded literally in that room on the fifth floor and killed each other? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit bad no, because uh, they're supposed to be from Europe, right? Hello. Uh, hello. Ha <laughs> ha. God damn it. Hey, Hatsumoto. Welcome to the stream. What is it? This all just sounds like some kind of altered reality. Each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenris somewhere on their body. What? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? Could that mean? Tugami looks like a husband of some Fujoshis. <laughs> Alligator. Then the time has come. All we can do now is try to uncover the trap. Thinking about it, wow, you could, you could see it in my face, right? I was actually thinking about it because the trial takes quite a while. Well, Byakuya and Makoto showed up together. Where the heck have you two been? You just disappeared without a word. We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? Makoto's ranked high enough for you guys to go off together? Just the two of you? What, are you jealous? Or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself? Stop talking and brace yourself. He'll be here any second. Any second. He could show up any time. When I mentioned what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. But... Sound really cool, King Snaker. I do agree. Stop talking. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some of the fun for later, right? But it's okay that there is no particular penalty if you bring late. I made you just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? Second floor of the dorms. The second floor. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed this announcement because of that. I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then, when did you find out? Just now. I finished my search and came back down, just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to a trial completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were late. I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. 